Right, so... These are just in the order that I'm taking them from the spreadsheet. It's not the order they're going to be entered into the match, so do not worry. Actually, can I actually be a bit more wise with this? Can I... Um, only show orange? I can. And then I can sort A to Z. There we go, okay. So we are starting things off with Air Lord. Then we have Blue Hell. No, we don't have Blue Hell because he's the current... Ha he's not the hardcore champion. Okay. We don't worry about that. Then Brainstorm. Um, Candy Cane. Candy Floss. Chance Morgan. Chucky Hart. Was that a bit of a um, bit of an adjustment in uh, his looks? Um, Colt Cannon. Corporal Punishment. Dark Pegasus. Derek Sandy. Donatello, Firestorm, Gandalf the Green, uh, Harry Brown and Harry Harry, James Charles, John Morgan, Kato Dragon, Leroy Janetti, Leroy Quen. Marcelo Zapuila. Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Raphael. The Green Ram. Who's actually higher up because he's G. Okay. We'll go back. Uska Keenan. The Villain. Mr. Beater. And Mr. Hamilton. That does mean I have missed one because I apparently have two left and... Who have I missed? That is rather annoying. Okay. Well, I know I've missed... Oh, was it Pink Ram? Oh, it's Pink Ram and Green Ram. That's the ones I've missed. So Green Ram and Pink Ram. There we go. So that is our first 30-man rumble. Um. Yeah. It, yeah, there, there is a few. There's another one, um, Charles, called Gemini, who looks pretty sim uh, looks pretty similar. Um, right, so that is the first 30-man rumble. We're going to have no entrances. We're going to have momentum on fast, just so we don't spend too much time on this, because we're going to do another one later on. And we are ready to go. Okay, so this is the lower 30, and then afterwards we'll have the, uh, the higher 30. Um... Because this wasn't planned for, it's not on my spreadsheet, which is annoying. Um, but we will deal with that later on. So the winner of this one is going to be... I forgot to do it. The winner of this one will become our first SWE Dark Champion. Talking of dark, it's pitch black outside now. It's only half past eight. I am the spokesman and messiah. Jay, maybe you should kick some people out, then you can free some space up. Do you need two tag teams? You've got Firestorm and Brainstorm, and you've got um, Dark Lutra and Dark Pegasus. Maybe Firestorm and Brainstorm can be released back into the wild. Alright, this should be fun then. We're starting things off with Kato Dragon and Gandalf the Green. Kato Dragon's not had a lot of opportunities so far, mainly because his tag team partner Dragon Yamamoto has been the uh, the champion um, for quite some time. A television champion, that is. So they've not really had a lot of chance to really do a lot in the tag team division. Of course, a point for every elimination you cause, and a minus point for being eliminated. In a number three comes Airlord, one of the elemental overlords we're yet to see. He's the more cruiserweight-based lord of the quadrant. And off the green. Big clubbing blows to the back. You may hold three championships, but you don't have any world championship at this point in time. The world championship, of course, currently still held by 
old Beanie Ward. In comes James Charles. Is that a slight makeover as well? I've given him some nice uh, shiny makeup as well as some more uh, a different type of long locks. So uh, yeah, he's pretty much the same. He's just got the makeup on now and a slightly different hairstyle. I don't think you do, no. I need to actually physically change that, don't I? I shall change that to try and make the um, the other stuff match up. So order heels. Yeah, I'm going to actually make sure your heels in game. So the cutscenes, that makes sense. So Air Lord is going to be part of the Cruiserweight division. Uh, Earth Lord, as Air Lord gets an elimination on his debut, it is Marcelo Zapuila who is eliminated. So yeah, Charles, by the way, um, if you do want to keep a track of what is going on, like I said, there's a link in the description down below to the spreadsheet. I'm currently updating the spreadsheet as we go along. It has all the rankings in it, similar to the AEW style, but um, it's, well, it's a bit on steroids at the moment, to be honest. Has somebody else been, have I just, has somebody else been eliminated? No, this is number six entering, isn't it? Okay. Well, the game locks you into five, doesn't it? Five, you can have in a stables. Gandalf the Green does not eliminate uh, Betty Bob, James Charles. <laughs> Jay, Gemini wants some promotion. It's a big season for you, Gemini. You debuted quite late in the previous season. I only had a couple of matches. This is a big season to show what you're worth, but I have got you penciled in in the main event of our first SWE episode against Tiger King for the chance to face off against Muta for the Intercontinental Championship. By the way, if I don't respond to anything, it's because I'm paying a lot of attention as Air Lord gets his second elimination, this time eliminating... Who was that? Kaito Dragon. Get a dragon. So Air Lord with two eliminations. He's looking pretty good. I'd be worried, uh, Dark Lucha. Air Lord is starting to muscle in in the cruiserweight picture. Yeah, it's a bit messy at the moment, Charles, because the um, because we're having to keep track of a lot of people we don't know. I'm having to keep so much detail on the spreadsheet um, to keep things making sense. As Oscar Keenan gets an elimination over Gandalf the Green. You know, the most surprising thing for me in this entire um, universe is the fact that I've managed to remember everyone's name so far. As Blue Hell eliminates Air Lord, but Air Lord's going to come out with two points tonight. Although I'm not sure. I believe this is Donatello in the ring. I might be wrong. Somebody could... Oh, yeah, it is Donatello because Raphael's just entering now. Here you go. Both Donatello and Raphael are both in the ring now. Well, it's real Jobber City in there at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> real Jobber City. Which is a good thing, because it means some of the bigger names are yet to enter in this one. Dark Pegasus is in this one, representing. That is Raphael, I believe, who just got that elimination. We're going to give it to Raphael. And it was the elimination of James Charles. As Oscar Keenan... Eliminates Raphael? No. Donatello. Donatello eliminated by Oscar Keenan's having a cracking night tonight. Real good night. We're down to two in the ring. Well, three in the ring, sorry. Blue Hell uh, Blue Hell's look on there. Yeah, I've got Air Lord, yeah. Oscar. Oscar's already got two eliminations tonight. He's looking to try and get his third now. Oscar Keenan had such a bad first season. Finishing it on minus four, but he's already on plus two this season for his two eliminations. I see Ghost as a heel because he does have his... Um... There we go. Blue Hell eliminates Oscar Keenan. Yeah, I do see uh, Ghost as a heel because he does have Red God as his enforcer um, to try and help out. So 
So Blue Hell, first ever hardcore champion in our universe mode. On two eliminations so far, same as Uska Keenan. That's Harry Harry in the ring as well. Leroy Quen now at number 11. Leroy Quen. Right. So I, I, I love a rumble at the beginning of a season because it does really, um, does really smarten things up a bit, doesn't it? Really gets the rankings uh, looking good. So this is Leroy Quen now trying to eliminate Blue Hell. Leroy Quen had two matches in the first season, lost them both as part of a tag team. In at number 12 comes Dark Pegasus. One of the members of the order in this match as Leroy eliminates Blue Hell. Leroy Quen gets himself a point. Dark Pegasus is in, one member of the order. Dark Pegasus now taking the leg of Harry. Harry dropping him. Ooh, both of them going for strikes, both missing. Dark Pegasus, though, looking to try and get some points on the board this season. Purple Rain enters at number 13. Wow. Raphael has just got a second elimination this match, eliminating Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Purple embarrassed. Purple Rain left red-faced. Harry Harry looking to try and eliminate Dark Pegasus is over the top here. In at 14 comes Candy Floss. I am very impressed with my ability to keep up with this match so far. I really am. Big clothesline there by Harry Harry now. Looking to work over Raphael, who's got two eliminations so far. Harry Harry now trying to look to get the elimination. As we wait the entrance of our halfway. Oh, okay. Leroy Quen gets a second elimination. I wasn't paying attention to who that was, though. It was Candy Floss. Candy Floss is out. In comes Derek Sandy. The oldest looking young man ever. I'm assuming that might have been a, uh, a spell check. Oh, it's a good situation though for Dark Pegasus and for Leroy Quen here. Both in a good position while the uh, the ring is uh, full of what you would class as enhancement and jobbers. Oh, Harry Harry has eliminated Dark Pegasus. Dark Pegasus is down. Harry Harry gets a point though. Derek Sandy tossing Harry Harry over the top. As Firestorm enters the fray. Firestorm now in with a neck breaker. As Leroy Quen now looking to try to eliminate Harry Harry now. And Leroy Quen gets his third elimination of the match. Eliminating Harry Harry. In comes Colt Cannon. Firestorm now taking Derek Sandy up into a jackknife. Wow, big move. As Leroy now looking to eliminate Firestorm. This would be an interesting elimination. Two, um, some pretty good tag teams here. Hi, Joseph. Welcome to the cluster otherwise known as the Royal Rumble. Leroy Janetti!
Raphael's doing well. Leroy with a DDT. There's two Leroy's now. There's Leroy and Leroy action. Leroyception. Nice Harakarana. As Derek now with Firestorm on the top. Dropped over the top rope. Wow, Ghost to Jay's already got a match against Leroy Janetti planned in, I think, but. And uh, Colt Cannon eliminates Raphael. It's about time someone eliminated Raphael, to be honest. Colt Cannon getting his first point. And, oh, Leroy Janetti almost eliminated Leroy Quen. In comes Harry Brown. Derek Sandy eliminating Leroy Quen out of nowhere. Leroy's been in it for a while, though. He got three eliminations, but Derek Sandy gets himself an elimination. Derek now also looking to try and work over Colt Cannon. Leroy Janetti's going to help. The job squad working together here, but Colt Cannon able to fight free. In comes Chance Morgan. Good numbers here for the Assassins. There are two members of the Assassins in this match. First up is Chance. He gets number 20. John is still to come as well. He's going to be later. Firestorm now. So this is probably what Jay wants, is it really? Firestorm working over Colt Cannon. Two members of the same stable. But Colt Cannon takes a loss to give Firestorm the point. As now Firestorm and Chase working together. The Assassins and the Order working together to eliminate Derek Sandy. So they both get a ranking point for that because the elimination was together. Firestorm now, that little um, team worked out well, didn't it? Chance with the strikes on Firestorm. Chance eliminates Firestorm, wow. Big elimination for Chance. He's taken his chance here tonight, and he's working over some of the weaklings here, taking out Harry. No, he doesn't. I thought Harry Brown was on his way gone there as well. Oh, take down, that was by chance. The green ramp. Oh, my God. Leroy. Leroy Giannetti. <laughs> Leroy Giannetti eliminates chance. In comes the green ram making his debut. Leroy, <laughs> what a legend, what a legend Leroy is, oh my god, oh Leroy's gone, <laughs> the green ram eliminates Leroy Janetti, we're down to Harry Bram, Harry Bram, Harry, Harry, no, Harry Brown and green ram, sorry I'm, I'm gonna lose my track, yeah Candy Kane's coming in now, yeah you've still got um, you still got John Morgan soon as well. Green Ram is clearing house. It looks like uh, Pink Ram may have upgraded here with his tag team partner. Moving from Magenta Wall to the Rams. Uh, Pink Ram still hasn't entered yet in this one. Uh, that was Harry Brown eliminated. I'm not quite sure that's a wise idea, Ghost, to be honest. I don't know how many submissions your character has, and uh, Charles's character is a submission specialist. It's very brave. As 23 in comes the villain. Green Ram is looking good tonight. We still have a few people yet to enter. Uh, let's do that. I can do that. There we go. I actually can see who's due to enter soon as well. Well, I don't know what numbers they're going to be, but I can see who hasn't entered yet. Ghost, if you want that match, it's up to you, but um, I wouldn't necessarily uh, advise of it. But then again, I never advised the match against Big Daddy G, and you came out victorious on that one and got yourself a massive stat upgrade to get into the uh, main event of the pay-per-view. John Morgan, number 24, the second member of the Assassins. 
Still a member yet of the order to enter though, being Brainstorm. Candy Cane's a big lad, isn't he? John Morgan plays the organ and he plays it rather canny and his sister's got a blister in the middle of her face. Villain now working over John Morgan in the corner. As we await the entrance of number whatever this is. 25, 26, something like that. 25, Pink Ram. Both of the Rams enter the match. As Candy Cane just racking up the backbreakers. Pink Ram's actually bigger than Green Ram. Candy Kane now a pink ramp up into the fall away slam. You've got to earn the main event yet, New Generation. You've only had two matches and you lost one of them. We'll see how things pan out this season. As John Morgan gets the elimination on the pink ram. Corporal Punishment's in. I got free, okay. Well, let's see what happens in the Rumble, because um, you never know who might win that, I suppose. John Morgan now. Uh, we'll do it in a minute, uh, New Generation. I've just got to keep track of what's going on here before, so I can do the rankings. Uh, sorry, Dark Looter even. Candy Kane looks to try and eliminate Green Ram, and he does go. Candy Kane eliminates the Green Ram. As Brainstorm straight in, eliminating John Morgan as well. We are down to our final few now. We have three more entrants. I know where they are as well. Villain here with Candy Cane up on the shoulders and Villain just drops him over the back. Wow. Well done from Villain. Very impressive him. Villain's going to be someone I think is involved in the um, submission division as well. There's old Beta, former hardcore champion. Corporal Punishment working over Villain, and Villain is gone. Eliminated by Corporal Punishment. And Villain is gone. Oh. Okay, Brainstorm's also gone via Mr. Beater. Does that mean we only have one more? We've got two more people left to enter. Number 29 is Zach Hamilton. Who I have removed his jacket and given him a new moveset. That's what I've changed with Zach. No jacket, and he's now has Zack Sabre Jr.'s moveset. So Zack is now officially in the uh, the submission division, or the pure division, as well as the cruiserweight. Nice takedown by Zack Hamilton. Brings Corporal Punishment back up to his feet. Um, so based on the final entrant of this match as well, it looks like the winner is either going to be a... Hardcore wrestler or a cruiserweight. As in comes Chucky Hart. Again, rocking some new digs. And a new haircut as well. And also a new moveset. And uh, might need a new neck after that German suplex as well. This is the final four, by the way. One of these four is going to win this match and become the first dark champion. Wife Beater has the chance to become the first ever double champion. Because, of course, he was the hardcore champion. Now going up here for the dark champion. Well, remember, the winner of this is also going to get plus five as well. Good evening, Eve WWE Toys Highlights TV Jr. That's a lot of words. You uh, join us at the end of this Royal Rumble. Four people remain. The winner becomes our, AEW, uh, our SWE dark champion. The show so used to say the AEW dark all the time.
He will join the nobody. He's going solo. Yeah, so Chucky now has Bret Hart's um, move set as well. Um, but that's the best drum roll I can do. Is the stream a bit choppy again? It shouldn't be. Yeah. I just noticed that. Yeah, I don't know why it's choppy. It shouldn't be. Wow. 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 Zach eliminates corporate punishment. That's a big thing as well. We are down to our final three. Come on. Come on, guys. Eliminate Wife Beater. I think... I want to see Beater go down, to be honest. Nice Northern Light Suplex by Mr. Beater. Beater Blocker. Chucky Hart, now a beater up against the ropes. Come on, Chucky. Come on, Chucky. Come on, Chucky. Show us what you can do, my man. I hope you're scouting here, old Charles, because uh, Zach and Chucky, two members of the Pure Division as well. I just realised the massive size difference between Chucky and uh, Mr. Beater. Your demise. Come on, Zach. Come on, Chucky. Come on, Zach and Chucky. The Zach and Chucky show. Not necessarily ghost, like I said. Um, it's quality over quantity. Doesn't matter how many people you've got if you've got a hold of the World Heavyweight Championship. Wow, Zack just eliminates Chucky out of nowhere. Zack gets his second elimination. Chucky is down. And now we're down to our final two. It really is David versus Goliath here. Who will win? Will David get a hold of his catapult or will he get catapulted over the top? And there it is. I must admit... I am disappointed. But your first ever Dark Champion is going to be the beater himself. There we go. And he's also going to get plus five. Oh my god, his ranking points are so high now. He's on plus 12. He's top ranked. Oh my god. I need somebody. I need somebody to step up and knock this guy down there we go victory for Mr. Beta he becomes your first SWE Dark Champion